China's lunar aspirations are taking shape, quite literally, with the recent return of experimental lunar soil bricks from a year-long journey in space. These bricks, each weighing a mere 100 grams, have survived the harsh conditions of space and offer a promising glimpse into the future of lunar construction. A bold step towards lunar habitation. The bricks, crafted from materials mimicking lunar regolith, underwent a series of processes including hot pressing, electromagnetic induction, and microwave sintering. These techniques enhanced their compressive strength, making them three times stronger than standard bricks and more resilient to the extreme conditions of space. But here's where it gets controversial, could these tiny bricks be the key to unlocking China's lunar ambitions? Some of the bricks sent into space were complete, while others had 45-degree symmetrical seams. This design choice was intentional, allowing researchers to observe any changes in mechanical properties after a year in space. Alongside mechanical strength, the experiment also assessed the brick's thermal behavior and radiation resistance. And this is the part most people miss, by comparing these space-exposed bricks with a control group on Earth, researchers aim to build a model that predicts material changes over time. This model could forecast possible alterations in a lunar environment, a crucial step toward sustainable lunar habitation. China's lunar program has set an ambitious goal of landing astronauts on the moon by 2030 and constructing a basic lunar research station by 2035. To achieve this, the country plans to utilize in situ resources like lunar soil, solar energy, and surface minerals, reducing the costly transportation of materials from Earth. So, what do you think? Are these bricks a promising step towards lunar habitation, or is there a better way to approach this challenge? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.